Audio Jungle. attention the plight of the Nigerian girl child and the need for urgent intervention by the federal government of Nigeria to save the future of our girls. My name is Senator Ireti Kingibe representing the federal capital territory of Nigeria. The Senate notes that the Nigerian girl child is subjected to numerous social cultural and economic challenges that severely limit her opportunities for growth, development, and contributions to society, including the denial of education, gender-based violence, early marriage, and poor health care access. Also notes that Nigeria has over 10 million out-of-school children with the girl child disproportionately affected. According to a 2020 UNICEF report, girls constitute over 60% of the out-of-school population, the problem that is exasperated by cultural barriers, insecurity, and economic disadvantages, disadvantages especially in rural and conflict-affected areas. Concern that gender-based violence, including rape, child trafficking, physical abuse, continues to rise across Nigeria with numerous incidents reported in all six geopolitical zones, often with minimal legal recourse or protection for the victims, leaving girls vulnerable, stigmatized, and unsupported. Also concerned that girl-child marriages remains prevalent across Nigeria, with the northern zones showing alarming statistics. According to the 2018 Nigerian Demographic and Health Survey, NDHS, over 44% of girls are married before the age of 18, with high percentages in states like Zamfara, Bauchi, and Sokoto. Child marriages deprive children of their right to education, health, and safe childhood, trapping them in cycles of poverty and oppression observes that each of the six political zones has distinct but equally pressing e challenges facing the girl child and citing real life scenarios to underline the urgency of the situation. Acknowledges that section 173, one, section 73, section 17, section 3 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended mandates the government to ensure that children have equal access to educational opportunities and that the state must protect the vulnerable from exploitation and abuse. Convinced that the continued marginalization of the Nigerian girl child threatens the future development of the country and it deprives half the population of their right to education, health, economic empowerment. The World Bank notes that investing in girls' education is key to achieving Sustainable Development Goal SDG and lifting families out of poverty. Also convinced that the future of Nigeria is directly tied to the empowerment of the girl child and that urgent action is required from all levels of government to address the systemic challenges. Accordingly, the Senate accordingly resolves to urge the federal government of Nigeria to declare a state of emergency on the protection and welfare of the girl child to address the educational health and safety needs of girls across the country. To encourage state governments to domesticate and enforce the Child Rights Act and the Violence Against Persons Act with a focus on eradicating harmful traditional practices like child marriage and female genital mutilation while ensuring girls' protection and empowerment. Three, mandate the Committee on Legislative Compliance to monitor the implementation of girl child protection laws and policies, ensuring that gaps are addressed and accountability is maintained. I so move.
Mr. Senator, I double idiot of Durant. The motion, ably moved by Senator Iriti Kingiwe, on the plight of the girl child, on the rights of the girl child, um, and the need, on the right of the girl child to be protected, and of course, they get the girl rights law, protection law, to be, up, to be upheld. Thank you. You may wish to make... Since the, the Senate or the President, I bet the pre Senate President, it is true that her girls face quite a number of social, cultural, and economic challenges, some of which have been enumerated here in this hall. And it is our responsibility as senators, female senators in particular, to cry out to the Senate to ensure that we protect this, protect the young ones, particularly the girls, in ensuring that the issue of violence against them are prevented, they, that early marriage to Permit me to, also, to say that in terms of early marriage, this is not something that is good for them to prevent them from going to school, prevent them from being educated, prevent them from a life that they deserve to have in the future, but being able to be part of this because if they don't go to school, I doubt if there's a way they will be here to come and represent the agenda. I therefore crave the judgments of my colleagues and the Senate President so please ensure that we speak to all the agencies of government, particularly governors in their respective states, to make it a point of duty to ensure that uh, the rights of girls are protected, to also ensure that the idea of early marriage are prevented. Um, asking a girl of 18 years to be married to a man of 40, 60 years is something that we should be able to speak about. It's something that we should be able to talk about. Yes. Our religion allowed it. But then, if you look at what is happening in the world all over today, we will, we will realize that there's need for us to give these children the opportunity to go to school. We can marry them, keep them in school. When they finish the school, they can come and join the family. That is better than taking them away from school, preventing them from being educated, and getting the right, I mean, as, uh, enjoying the rights that they deserve. I therefore join Senator Kingi Bay in calling on all of us, particularly the senators, to ensure that we give this bill, this motion, the, um, the deserving support, such that we can all ensure that all the governors in the state, all the local government chairman, whoever under them, that they are able to, ensure, to also stand up for these girls and to ensure that they enjoy the rights that they deserve. Thank you, Mr. President, for this opportunity. Thank you for your submission. This is Senator Banigo. Senatorial District. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this opportunity. And I really want to um, support this motion, which my colleague and sister, Senator Reti, has presented on the plight of the Nigerian girl child. Uh, and I noticed that um, our, His Excellency, our distinguished SP, has carefully called out the ladies here. And I'm sure we also have the men who will support this uh, great motion. I'm sure he himself is uh, a he for she uh, SP. And we have a lot of our colleagues here who are very, very sympathetic to this motion. I think it's coming at a very correct time. Because a few days from now, the whole world will be celebrating the International Day of the Girl Child. And I think it's an opportunity for us to ask ourselves in Nigeria, how well have we done in promoting uh, the, this, uh, bringing these challenges that the girl child has to the fore? How well have we done in actually seeking support for their empowerment? I know that we all do know that our girl children are born with a lot of potentials, a lot of potentials. 
and we really need to encourage them to fulfill all of their potentials. If it be educationally, we need to, 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 to support them, to provide the right environment for them to reach to the, to the climate of the top, climax of their uh, um, abilities and to be able to contribute positively to society, to the community. And so I, I want to um, support my sisters, uh, um, all her prayers actually. I think they are, it's timely and um, we need a very serious intervention at all levels of federal government, at all levels of society and community to support our girl children and to ensure that they are not endangered in any form or manner and that their future is not shortchanged. And I so move. Thank you. This, this is Senator, yeah. I want to also lend my voice and support my distinguished sister, Senator Ereti Kingibe, for bringing this motion regarding girl child and the need for the federal government to intervene to, uh, to save the future of our girls. Mr. President, looking at the number of out-of-school children, uh, about 10 million, and especially looking at the fact that over 60 percent have these uh, cultural barriers, yes, it's very important, especially in the rural areas, to carry out a enlightenment campaign by the federal government in collaboration with the state government which will give more effect in ensuring that the girl child are given the opportunity to be educated because once they have this education, it helps them in sustaining their livelihood, uh, especially as it affects uh, those who are married early. If they are given that education, it helps them to organize themselves uh, in terms of any, even entrepreneurial uh, becoming, uh, having some businesses to do, as well as uh, getting themselves, uh, you know, ready to be, you know, to be able to sustain their lives. So I want to lend my support to this motion and to also call on the federal government, I think most importantly, uh, to provide a enlightenment campaign, especially in our rural areas, to ensure that uh, the girl child are given the opportunity to be educated. I also support Mr. President. This all important motion. Girl children in our lives are of utmost importance because without them, we wouldn't have been here. Women everywhere, no matter how strong they are, are always praised to the bad people within the society. And as they are growing up, they need all encouragement. We have women in our houses, and at all times, they will be the ones who always talk about their parents, their father, their mothers. When your child, when your boy child grows up, he goes to take care of his own problem. But wherever they go, they always want to think of where they're coming from. And if they are not properly brought up, if they are not properly brought, uh, protected, you will find that their lives are always ruined. There are some that are very, very intelligent, very, very productive. They become the beacon of their houses when they eventually get married. 
Some of them are even more responsible than their husbands when they finally get settled. But the opportunity to get there is what Senator Kingibe is trying to provide and allow the government to give protection. So please, we are urging all of our colleagues to support this motion and uh, the uncommon leader we have will urge all the state governments to provide laws and punitive measures for those who take opportunities of these innocent uh, children, abuse them, even in their classes. When they go, you will find that a teacher will be making advances to a child. I think uh, day before yesterday, uh, Senator Neda brought a motion here or a petition where a child went for exams and the invigilator was trying to make advances. And when she didn't uh, succumb, she was accused of uh, exam malpractice. This has to stop. And this is the only place that can provide protection for such people. I so support second this uh, motion. So this day, uh, I think jam or something, and then the invigilator tried to take advantage of her. And when she refused, he kept harassing her life. And the next thing they said, she, she did not write the exam out. So I hope after the investigation, we'll know the truth. Because if it is true, uh, then it means that we have to recommend criminal proceedings against that regulator. Uh, we, 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 we use him as an example, if it is true. That's why we said he should work on it and report back to the Senate within two weeks. So, this uh, is Senator Kembowe. Yes, by have children in our houses. And the girl child has always been seen as the most vulnerable at all times. Where I come from, Your Excellency, in the days past, women were not even allowed to go to school. The parents would keep them in the houses. They were only good for marriage. Like some countries postulated, they were only meant for children making or as children making machines. But I want to sincerely thank our early um, nationalists and Nigerians who saw something good in the girl child. And in recent times, we have permanent secretaries who are females that are doing very well. And because the female child knows how to keep the family, they know how to manage offices. They are less corrupt. They have the indices of managerial abilities. Encouraging them all over the world has given enough of wisdom and understanding that this girl child is a special species that needs not to be, to be thrown away. Your Excellency, I want to submit that if we give justice to this motion, we will be doing a great deal of good, not just to the girl child, but to Nigeria, because they are serving Nigeria very well. And that is why I have to rise to support this motion that girl child is not only good for marriage, but is good also for all the offices that anybody all over the world is occupying. Look at Kunze Wala that is doing fabulously better and good all over in the country and in Nigeria for that matter. Your Excellency, we have so many. Even the female uh, um, representatives we have here in the Senate, see how they are enterprising. I want to sincerely 
thank the mover of this motion. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. The Child Rights uh, uh, Act. I, I, I sign it into law to protect the girl child, and I made education compulsory and free and a punishable offense for parents or guardians who would not allow them to go to school. So I think it, what this motion seeks to achieve is the same thing, that every state government, every, every person, every adult in Nigeria should give support to the girl child to reach her potential and not to be diminished at birth. Uh, let me hear from the Swiss Senator, Anthony Shiago. Not. I want to align myself with the submissions of others who have spoken in support of this. The girl child in our society is very, very, very vulnerable because a lot of people take advantage of the girl child. They are the weaker sex by all estimation. And in most climes, the girl child is not given the same opportunity that the male child is given, especially in third world countries, in our local environment where people are not really, really exposed. So they keep the girl child as a tool to machinery. I want to support this bill because most of us here have children who are girls. And if they are uneducated, sometime in life, they could get depressed when they are used as mere tools instead of asserting themselves and contributing to society. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Do we need to take to implement those things that will protect and promote the girl child? For instance, I feel that we should have a national database for the vulnerable in Nigeria, through which we can begin to address the needs of not just the girl child, but those group of people who are vulnerable, disabled people, students, unemployed. But I know that today we are talking about girl child. So from my own perspective, I think there is an urgent need to address the issue of numbers. How many girl child do we have in Nigeria? How many of them are vulnerable? How do we begin to support them? What can the government do to make payments? For instance, it is not beyond us to recommend a monthly payment for the girl child as a compulsory payment. Because you know, and I know, how many families struggle to educate their children, how many families struggle to find employment for the girl child. But if they have this compulsory support by way of social security, Mr. President, most of them will be able to manage themselves properly, uh, even including going to school to be educated. So I support entirely this um, motion. Thank you. This will give you for bringing this to the fore. Uh, the very soon, we'll be celebrating the International Day of the Girl Child. And uh, have we done it already? It's today? In two days. In two days. So your motion is very apt. Thank you. And uh, of course, uh, everybody that has spoken has spoken in favor of the need to allow the girl child to grow and, uh, and uh, discourage uh, uh, ch child marriages. And, uh, and of course, uh, the need to domesticate the Child Rights Act in many states to become laws of the various states of the Federation and provisions for the education of the girl child 
and for the growth of the girl child. And without uh, being modest, I was among the first governors in the class of 2007 to domesticate the girl, uh, the, uh, the girl child or the Child's Rights Act. I made it, uh, I signed it, and I made education compulsory for all children, particularly women. In my state, I paid school fees for them, paid their wife fees for them, provided their all facilities and all, and, uh, and it was totally free from uh, primary school to secondary school, and, and even they ensured that some that went to technical colleges, we paid their final fees for them, and then of course with scholarships and other facilities. I know that there are still a lot of state governments that are doing that now, and we want to encourage them to continue to do so. Like somebody said, if you educate a, a girl, you educate a woman, if you empower a woman, you empower the nation. Uh, none of us here will say that they were, uh, he or she was raised by a man. Almost all of us were raised by women. And so the importance of women in our society uh, cannot be underrated. And so it's important that we prepare the, the girl child for womanhood to come and be a responsible uh, mother in future as an adult. And uh, recent statistics have shown that the, that the girl child could grow up to become president of even this, our country. They are currently presidents of many countries in the world. And so there is no height they cannot reach, both in business and in politics. And so it's important that we use that special day to honor them. So I thank you once again for bringing this motion. I thank all our contributors uh, to this motion. So distinguished colleagues, Let's go into the prayers. Prayer one, urge the federal government of Nigeria to declare a state of emergency on the protection and welfare of the girl child to address the educational health and safety needs of the young girls across the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in support of prayer one say aye, and those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two, encourage state governments to domesticate and enforce the Child Rights Act and the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act with a focus on eradicating harmful traditional practices like girl-child marriages and female genital mutilation while ensuring girl-child's protection and empowerment. Those in support of prayer two say aye. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, amendment. To prayer two. In case there is need for a child to marry according to uh, Islamic uh, religious uh, injunction. Yes, Mr. President. Any seconder? Any seconder? Yes. Senator Abdul Ningi, representing Bauchi Center. I, I will put the question, but I was, I was thinking that uh, we should have been able to define who actually is a, a girl child. Because uh, the concept of girl child is important. Uh, we should uh, be able to have a kind of age limit that we call somebody a child. So, but if we want, uh, the, uh, the, um, there's an amendment to prayer two that we should say, encourage state governments to domesticate and enforce the Child Rights Act and the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act with a focus on eradicating harmful traditional practices uh, such as female genital mutilation, while ensuring girls' protection and empowerment. The only thing that is left there is child marriage. Those in support of the amendment say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. So the uh, child marriage is uh, removed from that prayer. Uh, but please let us be sure that the various laws in the states uh, define the age limit for a child. Because uh, you, you, you definitely you have age, ages that you can say you are a child or you are not a child. Prayer three, mandate the Committee on Legislative Compliance to monitor the implementation of the girl-child uh, protection laws and policies 
to ensure that gaps are addressed and accountability is maintained. Those in support of prayer three say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Any, any additional prayer? Okay. Any additional prayer? So let me thank the senior senator, Ereti Kingibe, uh, for sponsoring this motion and thank all of us who have contributed and uh, thank the entire Senate. And uh, I wish the girl child in Nigeria well and uh, to become educated. I pray that all the governments and persons of uh, age adults will take care of the girl child, ensuring their welfare, ensuring their education, and ensuring their empowerment in all aspects of life, because they are not inferior to men, so that they can achieve their potentials. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, Leader of the Senate. Audio jump.